Hey y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. You're going to hear some thunder in the background because lately all the humidity and the, um, the extreme humidity and heat is causing thunderstorms at night. So every night around 5, 6 o'clock we've had some thunderstorms, but it's nice because it cools off the apartment and causes like a really nice breeze. Uh, it does interrupt cell signal, but that, you know, Brooklyn, whenever it rains. I don't know if Lanny has this problem or Sunshine Honeybees or Alicia a little bit outside of the city. But um, here we get interrupted cell service when it rains. We don't know why. They claim they don't know why. We don't know why. So you can hear the thunder. Um, my internet should work fine on my laptop, just not so much on my phone. So folks, it's now 6.30 and this is my first time sitting down for the day. Literally, for the day. It was a crazy day. My mom got off safely to the airport. That's the good news. She is en route safely right now to my sister. And we're hoping she gets there safe and sound. Um, it's definitely reassuring to know that she is going to be in a much safer place. So that is a big weight off of my shoulders. They have less than you know, 10 cases in that province or in that city area right now. Less than 10 in total and they're well controlled. Last time I checked it was down to like four people who actually had active disease. And even though they're likely to have a bit of a spike, it won't be much of a spike compared to other places like where my mom lived. So it's very reassuring. Also, I just didn't want my mom alone during this. I've been alone during this, she's been alone during this, and my fear was that God forbid something happened, how, how would we deal with it? So knowing that she's with my sister it also means that she's much safer. So I just feel so much better knowing. It was a risk, it is a risk right now to take a plane ride, I will tell you that. You definitely want to weigh up the cost value of that. Uh, car travel is much safer y'all, but it was, we had to weigh up the risk and it was still safer to send her than to leave her where she was. And even my doctors agreed. So off she went. I She was in a shield. She was covered head to toe. Um, in the airport, she was wearing a short sleeve shirt, but she had a like a jacket thing for the plane because she has to cover every part of herself and then shower when she gets off and those clothes have to be um, right away washed. So that, that was the one priority. Believe it or not, I had a work priority today too. So that was due today and they needed information and a schedule. And then I had another priority that happened at the same time. And then all of a sudden my building decided today was the day we were going to exterminate our kitchens. And we weren't warned in advance and none of us were ready. So that was a, like a lot of last minute pulling out and getting stuff ready so that they could do that. And it was preventative y'all. We don't have a problem here, but they don't want a problem here. So they figured that especially now that it's, um, we're at a, a better period here in New York, that it was safer to let people into the kitchens. So it just was a mad rush. And then by accident, he spilled a bunch of the chemicals. So that also was its own mess to clean up. So it's just been one of those days. I said to Leticia, she's like, are you okay? And I said, I just wish I had more hours in the day. I have mail I wanna share with you from Angelica. I have other mail. I have one from Chris, uh, who's been with us almost since the start. Folks, I just, I don't have enough hours in the day today. That's my problem. So what I'm gonna do is take a break and eat something because otherwise, if I don't look after my health, then how am I gonna keep this all together? Especially keeping my mom in mind and my husband whose birthday it is this week. Um, I'm gonna take a little break and eat something and then I'm going to try to come back on after resting for a little bit and eating. But I wanted to share with you that Marcy had a slight positive change yesterday. And this is something we have to hold on to. She was able to eat a little bit she sent me a very short email. I know that Lizzie spoke with her. She was able to eat a tiny bit yesterday, y'all. And that is a sign of improvement. And she made it to a sitting position. Now y'all may say, well, those are small steps. Yeah, but they're important steps. Marcy's a fighter, y'all. She's a fighter. So she's doing her very best. And I wanted to share that with you. The fact that she actually sat up and she ate something is a huge change. So Marcy, keep fighting, girly. Keep fighting, because we're counting on it. We really are. Keep fighting girly um, as you can see most of the packages got off except for two and I'm holding them for a very specific reason and that is that a couple of amazing people uh, sent in some supplies that are due to arrive today so I did hold back two and they're sitting there and I hope I can get those out tomorrow when I go to the hospital that's the plan um, they're pretty light so I think I can carry them to the hospital and there's a post office there when I'm there uh, other than that, I, that's the end of my update. I really wanted to share what's going on and why I haven't been on. I haven't watched your videos. I did do some commenting this morning, but I have not watched a single video. Uh, I think in a day and a half, I'm just uh, 
Not enough hours in the day this week. That's not enough hours in the day, y'all. I'm hoping to be back on later. I, I just need to eat something and rest and hopefully I'll have a little more energy to come back on. All right, y'all. Wishing for you a happy and a healthy creative day. Do something fun, y'all. Do something fun. All right. See you later. Bye for now.